So today finally we are going to begin with a new chapter that is our second chapter okay and what is the second chapter the four operations what are the four operations now you must be wondering but many of you know in every maths class we talk about that the four operations are addition number 1 number 2 subtraction number 3 multiplication and number 4 division okay so now let's see what is the second chapter here our second chapter is the four operations and in this chapter we are having these sub topics which we will study one by one so you will get the mind map of this chapter children okay with your attachment with your worksheet so first topic is addition which we will do today then subtraction then multiplication then division then which operation this i'll teach when you will come here then the four operations together all the four will be in one question only all these four operations okay so we will go one by one so let's begin with addition so when we add children for addition at least minimum we need two numbers until at least two numbers are there how are you going to add if i give you three and ask you add what will you add three with so at least we need two number so here i have taken two numbers and here i have added so when we take two numbers minimum two numbers needs to be taken for addition and here i have taken three numbers so the numbers which are added they are called added they are called added this is also added okay so added added together it will be plural it will become so it is addends okay and the answer after adding which you get that is called sum and this i think almost all of you know this probably some of you must have forgotten that what is this called but children you need to remember what are the numbers which are added called this you can get in your mcq you can get in the fill in the blanks what are they called so numbers which are added they are called addend and the answer which we get after addition is called sum here also this is addend this is addend and this is addend and the addition of this this is the this is sum okay so this is clear hope i hope okay next is that there are three properties you need to learn okay the first one is when we change number 1 the first property when we change the ordering of the number suppose here i have uh, first example which i had taken here it was 3105 plus 2692 is equal to 57 97 so the for in first property or first rule you must say uh, what is that if we change the order means if this number i write here and this number i write here there is no change in the sum so let's see if i write here 2 6 9 2 first this one and then this one 3 1 0 5 then if we add after changing the order the sum will be the same there is no change okay so here after changing this also this i can show you with easy example if i write 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and if i change the order if i write 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is also equal to 5 so when we change the order of any uh, addition question the sum does not change let us take another example small only i'll give you 4 plus 9 plus 2 how much 4 9 plus 2 11 plus 4 15 now let us change the order if i write here 9 plus 4 plus 2 then also it will be 15 if i change another way 2 plus 9 plus 4 then also it is 50 so when we change the order of the addends the sum does not change it remains the same okay so this is number 1 number 2 when 1 is added this is number 1 number 2 when we add 1 to 
any number then we get the successor of that this you have studied and i have taught you in first chapter when one is added to a number we get the successor of that number so let us take from here only the example 3105 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3106 5 plus 1 6 okay and now here also if i change the order it will be 3106. Clear? The third one is when 0 is added to the number, the sum is the number itself. For example, if again I am taking this example 3105 and if I add 0 to, a num to this number, the answer, the sum which we will get, it will be the number itself. Means that number only. It is 3105. So these are the three properties of addition children which we have to keep in mind, okay. So again repeating, they are addends, this is sum, okay. When we change the order, the sum does not change. When we add 1 to any number, we get the successor of that number. And when we add 0 to any number, we get the number itself. Clear? Now let's come to addition. Now, addition you all know how to add, okay. So we will only learn large numbers and how to add you all know very well. So suppose I am giving an example that add, add 2, 3, 4, 0, 8 plus 6, 2, 8, 9, 7. Now, when you are asked to add these children, you may, be get, you may get this question that uh, arrange in column and add. So, here now are we, we are going to learn how to arrange in column. So, the base part you write here 5 digit that is 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000. This is the 50 digit. And now we will arrange. Always arrange the number from one side. Okay. Never begin from this side. Always from the first position. Okay. First place. That is 8. Then 0. Then 4. Then 3. And then 2. Again from here. This is 1 stands. Again. Okay? This is also 1. This is 1. So again from here. This 9. 8. 2. 6. Now let us add. 8 plus 7. 15. Carry 1, 9 plus 1, 10, 0. Carry 1, 8 plus 4, 12, plus 1, 13. Carry 1, 3 plus 2, 5, plus 1, 6, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So this is the way children, when you are asked to arrange the number and add, so always arrange the number from one's place. When the numbers are equal, then there is no uh, problem but when you get uh, some five digit number some four digit number that way then while arranging you will have the problem okay so that also i'll show you with one example suppose now you are asked to arrange in column and add so, how are you going to add it? So, first my greatest is 4th place. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. So, I will begin from here. 2, 7, 9, 4. Now, if you begin from here, 28 if you are writing here, it is totally wrong. Because we have to arrange from this side. So, it is 8 and 2 and then it is 6, 1, 3. This way you will arrange and then add. So, always whenever we are arranging in column, we have to begin from one's place. This side gap is okay. If you arrange from this side and one's place is empty, means your arrangement is only wrong. And because of that, your entire question is wrong. Okay. You will not get any marks if it is uh, exam time you are writing that way. So, there you will not get any marks. So, this much only about addition children. Any way it is given, you have to add. When big large numbers are there, it is asked that arrange and add. So, you have to add it. Okay. I think this is all okay for you for today. No problem in addition. So, please revise it and you will be getting the worksheet with this. Do it. Solve it. 
okay and apart from that the uh, questions which you got on uh, saturday the test paper you will get its answer also along with the worksheet so match your answer and just assess yourself how much marks you are getting and okay get the things done and revise it again and again for the exams okay so thank you good day